Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for My Hero Academia Season 4 Episode 17, and I kind of jumped the gun think last time again, and they ended up, it was partly in this episode where they won over the kids, and then they ended up having Nine Eyes Funeral, and we found out that the what was that guy at? Uh, um, bug guy ends up taking over for Night Eye's agency because Night Eye's not there anymore, obviously. And they hope that Togata is able to come back. And. <coughs> <coughs> uh, in this episode, Aoyama starts to act very creepy, in my opinion. At least when I first see it, because. Um. He ends up standing outside of Midoriya's window like a stalker, and uh, when Midoriya wakes up and realizes he's all creeped out, obviously, I think anybody would be freaked out if that they knew somebody that one of their classmates was just standing at their window staring at them. And he left a plate of that cheese in a message that says, "I know." And for a moment when I was watching this, I thought that Aoyama was actually the leak for what happened in Season 3, because the only people who knew where the training camp was was a select group of the staff, which was, I'm guessing, the teachers that were there. The students obviously didn't really, well, know where they were, so somebody had to have leaked the information. I don't think they would. the villains would have gotten the information in the first season when uh, Sh Shigaraki had... A distraction happened, I'm guessing, uh, when, um, I'm blanking on it, uh, the alarm sounded in the first season, everybody was panicking, and Ida had to get everybody's attention, because I figured that was the distraction they needed to get the information to go to the USJ to attack All Might, because that's how they knew All Might was there and when he was going to be there. How else could they have known? So, they had to have gotten either the information... I don't know if they would have gotten the information from that, because that was the first season. Or maybe they planned that far ahead for the show? I don't know. Or, somebody leaked it to him. So, I thought that maybe it was Aoyama that leaked it to him, because he was kind of... hiding and being a coward... during, um, the first part of that attack. But then he ended up redeeming himself by helping out, but... I don't know. I don't know if he was... It was just a thought that ran through my head as I was watching this, and then come to, and then actually, I was actually thinking about it afterwards. I was thinking, wait, did he? Th is it possible that he thought that Aoyama knew about One for All during uh, their, you know, their training session to work on their ultimate moves? Uh, obviously, Aoyama kind of um, gets tummy ache from using his laser too much, and Midori ends up talking with him, and we've come to find out that. Apparently, you can have a quirk that's not built for your body, in which case, it hurts you, just like what happened with Midoriya when he first got his quirk. It was hurting him when he used it. And that's what's happening with, uh, that's what happens with Aoyama, and that's why he wears that belt, because if he doesn't wear it, the navel laser will hurt, leak out and probably cause him pain. And it also already causes him pain, but he's working on that. So we actually learned a little bit more about Ai Aoyama and that he was actually trying to be nice to Midoriya when he left that kind of creepy message. I still think it's creepy. Yeah, he just kind of kind of left, kind of done it a little bit better. Instead of doing it at night outside his bedroom window, is still creepy. But what do you guys think about that? Did you guys think it was creepy too? Did you guys think it was nice or what? And if you haven't already, go on ahead and subscribe, join the Discord, and I will see everybody next time.